is Andrea here. Thank you for joining me today. This is season two, episode two of my Shibuki Pot series. So with that time of the year, mostly cold and rainy and yucky outside, and to bring some warmth into our home, we do Chinese hot pot and it's super fun too. What's hot pot? It consists of a variety of dishes like raw sliced meat, vegetables, tofu, seafood, all cut up really small or thin, which you would then cook over a boiling pot of soup. What do you need for hot pot? Some items you'll need are a pot with a lid, some ladles and chopsticks, and of course a bowl for eating, a plate for putting your cooked items on, and a small dish for your dipping sauce. And this can serve two people pretty well or more if your guests are not fast ravenous eaters. If you're ready, let's get started. So because hot pot is so versatile, you can pretty much have any food you'd like to eat. Today I have here some napa cabbage, enoki mushrooms, and some baby spinach. And then also we have some noodles. For meat, we have thinly sliced beef slices and some beef meatballs. Of course, we have tofu. And for seafood, I have some scallops some shrimp, and some fish cakes. These are all already or are going to be cut up into small slices and portions, so it will allow the food to cook faster. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut up our tofu, our napa cabbage, and our enoki mushrooms. Okay, so enoki mushrooms can be quite dirty, so what I like to do when I clean them is I just like to soak them in some water for uh, about five to 10 minutes to let the dirt loosen up and then it makes it much easier to clean. Uh, with the end here, uh, sometimes you'll have the roots on here, but this one's already trimmed and so it's not as dirty. Um, I'm just gonna give them another trim and then that should be good. There we go. So now I'm just gonna soak them in some water to let the dirt loosen up. While we're waiting for the enoki mushrooms to soak, let's carry on with our tofu. Okay, we're just gonna cut them into little slices here. So now that our mushrooms have had a chance to soak and the dirt has loosened up, let's give them a quick rinse and then we can separate them and put them on our plate. Okay, so now that we have all of our ingredients that we're going to be eating, let's talk about the soup. The soup for cooking can pretty much be Anything you can imagine, spicy, not spicy, savory, plain. Today we're gonna go with a more basic soup and I'm just using a chicken broth here. Some soups can get really fancy and be things like, like this, which is prepackaged soup base. So you just pour it into your water and then let it boil and then you're good to go. You could also use something like an instant noodle packet and then save the noodles for later to enjoy. Okay, so lastly, the dipping sauce. So this is probably the most personalized part of the meal. Um, the dipping sauce I'll be making today consists of one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of hoisin sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and some cut up cilantro. You can check the description box below for more soup base and dipping sauce ideas. Once all the dishes are prepared and the soup is ready to go, it's time to start cooking and eating. Okay, so like I said before, I'm just using um, chicken broth for my soup base here. And so uh, that's what I, I did here. I put in three cups of chicken broth. Now I'm gonna put the lid on, uh, turn this thing on to high and just let it come to a boil. And once it boils, we're gonna turn the temperature down and start adding in our food. Okay, since our water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and put some things inside. You can, of course, start with whatever you want. I always like starting with veggies, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once you put them in your veggies, it depends on how cooked you like them. Typically, they don't take very long at all. The spinach will cook almost right away. 
uh, the enoki mushrooms maybe a minute, the, the cabbage maybe two, three minutes. You can check the description for guidelines for when things will be ready. It's also a good idea to use different cooking utensils for when you're eating and from when you're cooking to avoid cross-contamination. Okay, so this is thinly sliced beef here. They cook really, really fast, so you don't really want to lose sight of them. They cook for in about like five, 10 seconds. So really cook them one at a time unless you plan on cooking only the sliced beef, then put them all in and then fish them all out. So my plate is getting a little full here. I'm going to put some items in my pot here that take a little longer to cook. And so by the time that I'm done eating, maybe my longer to cook items will be done cooking too. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Okay, so the tofu, tofu is already cooked. So basically you're just adding it to the soup to warm it up. I like my tofu really, really soft, so that's why I put it in and leave it in for a lot longer than I probably should. The cooking time for the shrimp is going to depend on the size of the shrimp, but basically when it goes from a grayish color to a whitish pink color, and you can't see through it anymore, they're done. Usually really fast and you don't want to overcook them because they can go from a soft texture to a rubbery texture really quick. Um, the scallops are done in about two to four minutes. It really depends on the size of the scallop, but basically they become a solid white color. Again, you don't want to overcook your scallops either because they can go from a nice silky texture to a chewy texture really quick as well. Or the beef meatballs, they come, we like to cut the meatballs with a cross shape just so that it makes it more obvious that they've warmed up on the inside and also they cook a lot faster that way too. For the fish cakes, I like to put them in for three to five minutes, but go by what the package says for cooking times. The noodles, uh, it really depends on the type of noodle you use, but this one, because it's an instant noodle, they're gonna cook really fast. So basically you put it in the soup, once it starts breaking up, they're done. Take them out or whatever texture you like. And then for the dipping sauce, you can dip or not dip. It's completely up to you. I dip everything, so you know, it's that's just my preference. Sometimes I will make a imitation stir fry <laughs> in my bowl, so I'll add noodles and I'll add all my ingredients and pour the sauce on top. And then I'll stir it in my bowl and eat it like that. And here you have it friends, Chinese hot pot you can enjoy in your home. Super fun, relatively fast to prepare and customizable to no end. Uh, leave me a comment below on what items you enjoy when you hot pot. And if you've never had hot pot before, let me know if you would try it. Um, if you are thinking of buying an Ataki, consider using my link below to save 2.5% on your purchase. Using the link helps support me with a small commission while thinking of new ideas for you. Thank you again for joining me today. If you like my video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more fun food ideas to make in the Shibuki pot. Until next time, friends. Mwah.